Hey, McGinn, welcome back to a new week of Read Alouds. I hope everyone enjoyed their weekend um, and is enjoying some of this beautiful weather to kick off uh, this Monday. Here is our first Read Aloud of the week. I figured we'd go with something light, something funny, and the title pretty much says it all. Children make terrible pets. One morning, Lucy was practicing her twirls when she noticed she was being watched. Hello, who's there? I can smell you behind those bushes. So just come on out. When her secret admirer scurried into the open, Lucy could not believe her eyes. Oh my gosh, you are the cutest critter in the whole forest. Squeak. So Lucy brought the critter home to show her mom. Mom, look what I found outside. I call him Squeaker because he makes funny sounds. Squeak. See, isn't he the cutest? Can I keep him, please? Lucille Beatrice Bear, don't you know that children make terrible pets? Oh, come on, Mom. Look how sweet he is. You won't be any tr trouble, will you, boy? Squeak. Oh, oh, all right. You can keep him on one condition. Thanks, Mom. Squeaker is going to be the best pet ever. You'll see. Lucy and Squeaker were inseparable. They played together. They ate together. They napped together. Lucy and Squeaker did everything together. But it wasn't all fun and games. He was impossible to potty train. Squeak. Squeak. He ruined the furniture. He caused problems wherever he went. We don't throw food at parties. Squeak. And just when Lucy thought things couldn't get any worse, Squeaker disappeared. Squeaker. Lucy checked the usual hiding spots. Here, Squeaker. But her pet was nowhere to be found. Come here, boy. Squeaker? Squeaker, where are you? Lucy had almost given up hope when her sensitive nose caught a whiff of her squeaker. Lucy followed Squeaker's scent this way and that across the entire forest until finally she found Squeaker. But something had changed. Squeaker didn't seem like a pet anymore. Lucy knew what she had to do. Goodbye, Squeaker. Squeak. Squeak, 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 squeak. Squeaker belongs with his family. I'm really going to miss that little fella. I guess some critters just aren't meant to be pets, but maybe it's all for the best. Lucy had a lot to think about on her walk home. By the end of the day, Lucy had learned one very valuable lesson. You were right, Mom. Children do make terrible pets. Oh, they really are the worst. The end. <laughs> I think Lucy has some ideas going here with this elephant. So I hope you like that little laughable story to kick off the week. Um, again, have a great rest of, uh, rest of this week, and I look forward to seeing you for some more read-alouts. Take care.